except I don't know holding the dumbbell. Resting on the car is probably not going to help. It should be able to. You, I mean, the stabilization. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there's another car up there. Okay. Going scouting, we're <clears throat> just entering on trailhead. It's a nice afternoon. It's about quarter to two or three o'clock, I guess. And uh, this is the main hiking trail in. We're gonna take this in for a few miles, and then we got some plans to go off trail for an area that we uh, identified that we wanted to scout out. So, good thing about this area is that it doesn't include motorized or bike. seen around this area start to see trails that come around the hill crossways horizontally similar to our other areas slopes it being all brushy and blow down but yeah. right on the top of the ridge for some reason you know it's pretty open yeah
we've got some real steep slopes here. This is amazing. Aspen stand here covers the whole south side of this mountain. And uh, we think this is where we're going to hunt opening weekend, at least, of uh, the second season. I'm not sure what the, how crowded it'll be. We hope that uh, the place that we have is um, not an area that most people want to climb into. Because it's really steep. Oh, I was just looking, look at this trail. Major, major, major trail. There's fresh droppings over here, I think. Uh, running across the side of this hill. And right over there, see that bench? Yeah. I think that would be an excellent place to sit. Because, look at this. Well, it's hard to tell if you can actually get a view of this. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll have to come back and... But it's extremely steep. I mean... Yeah, I've got a major, major trail running along this hill. And running right up through there. And I guarantee you that this is not a horse trail. Not a cow trail, not a hiking trail. That's a big game trail. Don't grab onto that baby and push it down. Oh, look at this, I mean, there's a bed right here. There is an elk bed right here. I'm pretty sure it's elk. Could be a deer right behind this tree. And it's been laid on recently. These trees are useful. Yes. I really like this area. Yeah. I think this slope will keep a lot of people out of here. Mm -hmm. I did see some beds over there. Some what? Beds. Oh yeah. From up there, I could see them. They're pressed down right in that area right there. can't even see the top of the mountain from here because we're below the lip of this bench up there. What's that? Another trail. Oh yeah. Take a look at that. It goes right around. And it goes right over through there yeah I, I think they feed all along here I bet they just graze they just walk right along and there's a lot of grass it's steep they have perfect visibility to everything below them they may not be looking up there that's what we're hoping for follow that out because if we go down in here I think we're in, in a little bit of a draw okay if we follow that out I think we're better off Here's a bed right behind this tree. That looks like a deer bed to me. Another fresh bed. Oh yeah. I assume that what they do is they feed along here. When they want to sit down and chew cud and, yeah. and that, they find a spot like that and lay down for an hour or two hours, whatever they want, snooze. Then they get up and they start feeding again. And uh, it was just a flash yeah. over on that lip of that other uh, 
ridge that comes yeah. down. It might have been a, a deer or elk. I mean, I'm more talking. I'm talking quite a bit. There's a major hoof print right there. And we just found a wet seep with water coming out of it. There's a tiny little wallow or watering hole right up there on the edge of those alders. There's a big area in the middle of the alders that's broken down and bedded. I think uh, it's a combination of moose and bear. I'm sure elk and deer also visit the area. But these alders in the water just run right down through this. So we're going to follow this down and see what other kind of sign we can find here. But uh, definitely good area, huh? Yeah. Just beautiful up here too. Great place to hunt. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we're, we're lonesome. We don't have company of other over-the-counter hunters. <laughs>